Okay, in this particular lesson, what we're going to be looking at is uh, rationalizing a monomial denominator of a radical expression. Um, uh, we'll define it here. Uh, it'll be easier when we get to practice it. Uh, radical expression in simplest form, if you recall, uh, has absolutely uh, no radicand in the denominator. Okay, uh, so something like uh, 2 over square root of 3 isn't in simplest form because we have a radicand in the denominator, so that would not be considered simplest form. Um, creating an equivalent radical expression with no radicand, so what we're going to be doing is creating uh, equivalent radical expressions but with no radicand, so in simplest form, uh, in the denominator, so no radicand in the denominator is called rationalizing the denominator. What we're going to do in this lesson is rationalize a monomial, so there will only be one term in the denominator and it will have a radical in it, rationalize a monomial denominator. Uh, in order to do that, what we're going to need to do is multiply the expression uh, by a fraction that has the same numerator and denominator, because if we multiply anything by a fraction that has the same numerator and denominator, you're essentially uh, timesing by 1, which doesn't actually change the value of the expression, which uh, is important, an uh, important mathematical concept. Uh, in order to choose the fraction, what we're going to do is figure out what the denominator must be multiplied by in order to no longer have a radical in the denominator. Um, sounds difficult, you'll see in a second that uh, as long as we are careful, will be absolutely fine. Uh, so this, what we're going to do is four questions. It says simplify by rationalizing the denominator and state any restrictions on the variables. So what you'll notice in all of these cases is that the denominator is a monomial, so one term, uh, but they all have a radicand in them. So these are considered not simplest form. Uh, if we look at this first one, you want to ask yourself, okay, what does this denominator have to be multiplied by in order to uh, eliminate the radical? And the answer to that is if I had a pair of sixes, then I could take them out of the radical uh, as a six. Uh, so to introduce a pair of sixes in the radicand, essentially what I need to do is multiply the denominator by root six. Uh, but in order to do that, I have to multiply the numerator by square root of 6 because uh, this doesn't change the value of the expression. Essentially, I'm timesing by this is equal to 1. So if I'm timesing the expression by 1, I'm not changing the value of the expression. Uh, but what you'll see happening here, if you remember from the multiplying expressions uh, lesson, is your numerator here is going to be 2 root 6, and your denominator is going to be the square root of 6 times 6. And all of a sudden, this pair of 6's can come out as a Six. So our simplest form here uh, would be equivalent to 2 root 6 over 6. Although that isn't simplest form, uh, what you may remember is now we can actually uh, simplify these coefficients here, our 2 over 6 to a third. So if I do that, uh, I'll have 1 over 3. So my simplest form is 1 root 6 over 3. Uh, or, in other words, just root 6 over 3. Uh, that's our simplest form. Uh, in the next one, we have a variable, so we need to be careful. Uh, since this is an even index, uh, if n was negative, we would be square rooting a negative, so that's not allowed. Uh, so before I even start this question, my restrictions here would be that n has to be greater than or equal to 0. Uh, now let's start simplifying. In order to eliminate the radical in the denominator, uh, all I'm going to need to do is have a pair of 2s. So I don't have to introduce any more coefficients, just a radicand of root 2. And in order to do that, I need to multiply the numerator by root 2. So if I simplify this, or multiply my numerators, multiply my denominators, my numerator become 4, square root of, and 5 times 2 is 10, square root of 10n, uh, all over 3 times the square root of 4, or in other words, 2 times 2, which I find easier to kind of represent. So you can see there's a pair of 2s uh, to remove. So in this case, our simplest form, or our simpler form, I should say, is 4 square root of 10n over 6. And in this case, you can see that these coefficients, or the number parts that aren't inside the radicand, can be uh, reduced to 2 thirds. Uh, so our simplest form here, sorry, should be 2 thirds. Uh, our simplest form would be 2 square root of 10n uh, all over 3. So that would be our simplest form. Uh, in the next one, what you'll see is that our index in this case is 
odd. It's 3. So as far as restrictions go, uh, our variable y has no restrictions. y can belong to the set of all real numbers. Uh, another important thing to realize that is that with an index of 3, in order to have no radicand in the denominator, I'm going to need a triplet of sixes. Uh, so in this particular case, what I'm going to need to do is still multiply by two cubed root sixes, because that will give me a total of one, two, three sixes in my denominator. So I'm going to need to multiply uh, my numerator also by two cubed root sixes, because essentially that's not changing the value of the expression. Uh, so in order to simplify, uh, what I could do here is my numerator is going to become three cubed root of, and if you look at the number parts, 2 times 6 times 6 is equivalent to 72. So this is 72. Uh, and, oops. Uh, and then I have a y. So it's cubed root of 72y. And my denominator is going to become uh, y cubed root of, and I'll just leave it as 6 times 6 times 6, because those 6s, uh, that triplet of sixes can come out as a single six, and now there's no radicand. So at this point in time, we have three uh, cubed root of 72y all over 6y. Uh, that is quite simple, but we still have a few things to do. Uh, what I might want to do first is uh, make a factor tree of 72. This 72 actually has a perfect cube in it. Uh, so 72 is equivalent to... Uh, 2 times 36, which is 2 times 18, which is 2 times 9, which is 3 times 3. So there's actually a triplet of 2s. So I can take out a 2 as my coefficient here. Uh, and then just all that gets left behind is 9, because 3 times 3 is 9. So my new um, radicand will be 9y. So uh, my next simplest form will be my numerator is 2 times 3. So that's going to be 6. Uh, cubed root of 9y, and that is all over 6y. If we look at the non-radicand parts, we can simplify them a little bit more. 6 divided by 6 is 1. Uh, so my simplest form in this case will be uh, a cubed root of 9y uh, all over y, and that would be my simplest form. Uh, in this last example, what you'll notice again is that we do have a variable. Uh, so uh, and that variable c, uh, first of all, regarding the uh, radicands not being able to be negative, if you have an even index, uh, c would have to be greater than or equal to 0. But it would also not be allowed to be 0, because then we'd be dividing by 0. So if we combine these two, it would be c has to be greater than 0, as far as our restrictions go. Uh, in order to simplify this, we'll have to multiply the denominator, because we're going to need a pair of c's, and the numerator by root c. Uh, so in this particular case, we're going to have to distribute our numerator. Uh, so that's going to become, our first term in our numerator will be 2c root c, and our second term will be minus c root 5c. And in the case of our denominator, you're going to have the square root of c times c. And as we know, that pair of c's can come out as a c. Uh, so in this particular case, what we have is our next simplest form, would be 2c root c minus c root 5c uh, all over c. That's quite a simple form. However, in this particular case, uh, we can divide the two terms in the numerator by the denominator by c. Uh, so what that means is that uh, all these c's will disappear. If you want to kind of understand that, what I'm doing here is splitting up. Uh, I'm doing this. And you'll see that all of these c's uh, can cancel out as far as outside of our radicand goes. So uh, we're not actually going to have a denominator. So my numerator, or my final solution, my simplest form, is going to be 2 root c. That's all that's left in this term, minus root 5c. Uh, and that is our simplest form.